ramping up to flight speed. Lift off of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peake on their way to the International Space Station. From the launch pad in Kazakhstan up into the clear blue sky of Central Asia, Soyuz rocket carries three astronauts into space. We'll be getting regular launch performance calls from the uh, engineers out there. It is a faultless liftoff. Inside with his Russian and American colleagues, Tim Peake can't hide his delight. Earlier, through a glass screen, he was given his own thumbs up by his family. Daddy. Enjoy the trip. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Daddy. Bye. Bye, bye. I want to say bye to Daddy. Then a final message to those he won't see for six months. There's nothing routine about going into space, but at the Russian base there are rituals to be strictly observed. First, a blessing, and then signing the door of their quarters, like all those who've gone before them. Then it's time to transfer to the launch pad to be ready for liftoff. If they're feeling any nerves, they don't show it. As they head for orbit, you can see the four rocket boosters fall away, their fuel emptied. Then nine minutes into the flight, as the last engine detaches, weightlessness. Watch how the toy rocket floats away. They are now in space. Mission control on the ground congratulates them. Congratulations on orbital insertion. Thank you. They're now chasing the space station, which is orbiting 250 miles above the Earth. These pictures filmed from the space station for the first time show the rocket approaching. It's that white dot under the curve of the Earth. And this is the Soyuz rocket catching up within meters of docking with the space station. They now face months of conducting experiments and living life in microgravity. But the three of them, including Britain's first official astronaut, are part of the great adventure of space. Andy Belt, 5 News.